Hello, everyone. My name is Maki Ikegami. I'm working as a coordinator for a sustainable campus of Hokkaido University. Today, I would like to introduce the concept of sustainable campus. I think for almost all of you, the concept of sustainable society is familiar. But what is sustainable campus? This is the topic of my presentation today. First, let me start with my personal experience, which made me work for sustainable campus of Hokkaido University. Originally, I belonged to Tohoku University, researching on Satoyama. Satoyama is a Japanese landscape which is characterized by a mosaic feature of different types of land uses, such as pasture, meadow, farmland, woodland, and sometimes includes the human settlements. Taking practical approach in real existing societies, I was engaged in interdisciplinary research in Tohoku region and Shinshu region. So my research fields were mountainous areas of these regions. In these local areas, they have rich natural resources, especially renewable energy resources. For example, with biomass energy, hydropower, and sometimes they have very rich geothermal energy and wind power. But in those areas, they were suffering from serious exodus. So now we are losing the local knowledge of these areas. In those mountainous research fields, I was engaged to evaluate the renewable energy resources quantitatively and listen to the local people's voice, thoughts, and design the sustainable energy system for them and try to organize the local people toward a sustainable society. Without this kind of a practical researches, global warming issue will never be solved. The university campus is also considered as a society. Perhaps our campus of Hokkaido University is much more complicated than rural societies because we have 22,000 members getting around the campus every day and conducting energy intensive research and education. Also, our campus is located in Sapporo City, which is in subarctic zone. We have very cold climate and we have very large 2 million people, 2 million population. So this cold climate creates a large demand of heating energy in our campus. So my work is to tackle with these issues in campus of Hokkaido University. So my research field has changed from Satoyama to university campus. But I'm working in the, the same common intention idea. I'm working for a sustainable society and a sustainable campus. So what is sustainable campus? There are three axes of this concept. The most basic one is the vertical line, environment, and the campus. At the bottom, on the right side, local society and social responsibility of university. On the left side, local economy and university management. In the vertical direction, environment and the campus. We have to save energy, of course, and we have to recycle, we have to do the proper waste management, we have to keep green area of campus, and also we have to preserve ecosystem of our campus. But the concept of sustainable campus doesn't stop at this simple eco-campus concept. We have to design public transport which is friendly to the environment. Also, floor line design friendly to pedestrians and bicycles are very essential. Particularly, public space is also important because public space can facilitate the communication between students, faculties, 
and even visitors from outside, like tourists and citizens. This kind of very active, open, interactive university can be a place for living laboratory. The concept of living laboratory is to utilize the campus as a field for research and education. Moreover, such interactive universities can be a place for social experiment. Because our everyday life, human lifestyle, is at the root of global warming. In terms of this, the place for social experiment is quite important because our university has to implement the research result in the real existing society. So the implementation stage is the most important part of sustainable campus. So this concept is to foster the practical research to achieve this point. This is the image of Hokkaido University's living laboratory. We have 22,000 students and faculties. In these 11 years, we receive 1 million visitors. This is a very popular touristic place. As you see from these pictures, our campus is a real active society. In Hokkaido University, there are so many students who aspire for interdisciplinary research and student activities for sustainable society. SCSD, Student Council for Sustainable Development, is one of the representative initiatives. This group is holding candle night on the day of summer solstice. This event is intending to let people consider climate change issue under the light of candles without electric lights from the street. This initiative also provides uh, another meaning for students because they can have real contact to the real society. So they can try to find out the method for their own social education by using the campus as a test field. Sustainable Campus Contest is also a representative initiative by SCSD. They call for students groups who have ideas towards sustainable campus. And the juries evaluate the presentations of those groups. And the group who wins the first prize will be financially supported by the university to implement their idea. Last year, we had six groups of students to apply for this contest. And the first prize went to Hokudai Cafe Project. They proposed to renovate the broken wooden deck, which is at the site of the University Museum. So they renovated this broken wooden deck. And the rich public place of Sapporo campus has been revived by students. Now Cafe Project is holding regularly the cafe here. And university campus sometimes uses this place for their lecture course. Faculty of Environmental Earth Science also had an interesting living laboratory project. This research was on mobility and hospitality for visitors powered by solar energy. Because we received so many visitors from outside, they need convenient public transport inside the campus. So he designed possible routes of an electric cart in the campus, and he surveyed which location, which route are popular, how many people utilize this transport, and how do they feel with this green energy. So this research project also provided him to experience real contact to the real society. So this is also a practical research project for mobility in Sapporo campus. In managerial side, we also have interesting, a kind of psychological experiment for visualization of energy consumption. Three years ago, our university was planning to install measurement equipment to monitor the energy consumption of each faculty. But it would be a very big investment. So our university had to know how effective 
if we enhance the people's awareness of energy consumption? How effective for energy saving? This was the question of this experiment. In the first week, we didn't notify the building users and measure the energy consumption. In the second week, we put energy saving posters. In the third week, we visit each laboratory and office room and told them, please cooperate with energy saving. In fourth week, we pretended as if we finished energy saving campaign, but in fact, we measured the energy consumption in each building. So these are the results. We did this experiment in three different types of faculties and institute. So let's see the result of Faculty of Law. We achieved 13% reduction in electricity and in gas, 28% reduction. In the first week, we identified 4% rebound. But in total, we realized this is very effective. So in 2013, our university has installed measurement equipment for each faculty. Lastly, I'm going to introduce the stage of implementation. As I am repeating today, the important thing is that we have to implement the research results in the real society. So the stage of implementation is really important. So our university and the city of Sapporo has made an official agreement in terms of collaboration for urban planning. City of Sapporo has taken a swift action for aging society. The general goal is sustainable urban planning, and the two concepts of this agreement are compact city and the sustainable energy system and its management. The city includes Sapporo campus, so it's very inevitable and essential to collaborate between the university and the city. Now, the stage of living laboratory is extending from Sapporo campus to city of Sapporo. Until now, we have cooperated in terms of long-term energy vision, but eventually, we would like to have common urban research center for sustainable society in Sapporo. Personally, at least, I'm feeling localization is a key to sustainable society because each local issue constitutes the global issue. So a variety of local issues are accumulating here in Sapporo. Interdisciplinary and practical researches at sustainable campus of Hokkaido University are waiting for you. Thank you very much. <laughs>